Good morning. Um, this is Sunday, and Vanessa's here on Shangri-La. She was going to do a little bit of island cleanup today. And to start off, we did get our notice from the Happy Home Academy telling her that her home was a 142,823. That's how many points she got for her house. Um, she's going to throw that one away because this one is the highest she's gotten since she actually scored her gold cup with points of 178,748,000. Um, this is what scored her her gold trophy, so she's saving that one. And she doesn't really care how they score her home now because she just lives the way she wants to live. She's not really concerned about points. So she's going to kind of run around here. And it's, to me, we call it the scavenger hunt because, well, you're kind of looking for the same item. She needs two weeds, 15 tree branches, four fossils, and she needs to replace her bell tree with a new tree. And this is her little Zen garden meditation place. During the summer, she likes working on the novels out in the fresh air. mushrooms up above, so we can grab those. <laughs> and the girls take a look at their Chores. There's a lot of those we aren't going to complete, but some of them we will. Because Vanessa just wants to clean up the island and it's a nice sunny day. Sorry about the up and down stuff, but I have to see behind those trees to see if there's anything I'm missing. <laughs> Girls also pick up all of their um, there's the turnip lady, but her nose is running, so we don't really want to get sick, so I'm not... Vanessa isn't going to purchase any more any turnips. She doesn't play the stock market game. Any money they have in their little bank accounts or, or their bell accounts. There's a weed. The money they make is just stuff what they sell back to the store or what they get off of, uh, you know, balloons giving them money. Okay, let's go over to the neighborhood and The girls really like 
this part of autumn because of the mushrooms. It's kind of cool collecting these. Vanessa was the one that came up with a little cafe that uh, was the mushroom cafe. She served pizza and hot drinks at her cafe and used all the little mushroom items, the table, the chairs. And Lydia actually copied Vanessa because she thought that the little cafe turned out really cute. see how we're doing so far. We've got our four fossils. We picked up the two weeds. So we just need seven more tree branches. Let's check our message in the bottle. Vanessa already knows that recipe, so she's going to sell that. the beach of seashells. <sighs> Lucky's house. Vanessa, when he moved in, she wanted him to be happier, so she put in a real pretty multi-flower garden and was trying to make his life, you know, not so... Um, he loves the cemetery look, and so at a certain point she decided to switch his yard to look cemetery-ish because, well, that's Lucky's personality. And when I searched the internet to see what had happened to Lucky, why he was wrapped totally in bandages, the stories out there were that there was a bad fishing accident. And that's how Lucky was hurt. So I think that's Lucky's backstory. And is he home? I don't, yeah, he is home. Let's take a look at his house. Lucky's a character that Vanessa doesn't want to give up. Check me out, I'm doing stuff. What are you doing? I'm making me an orange wall. One of the bugs in the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. What? You already know how to make an orange wall? Sure do. That's really cool. You're always on top of things and I'm usually stuck under them. I want to tell everybody about the orange wall, so I scribbled down the recipe. If you know anyone that wants to know how to make it, can you hand them this note? And maybe apologize for the cookie grease I smudged on the middle part. Thanks, Lucky. It'd be great if a bunch of, pe bunch of folks made an orange wall. <laughs> okay, buddy. As you can see, his house is cemetery-ish. Okay, I think we've cleaned up enough that direction. We have to go behind these trees because they sometimes drop stuff in there. And we go back to some beach cleanup. No seashells. Usually there's a or tree branch right there. It doesn't look like they deposited one there this today.
Now, Vanessa also decided that the uh, ocean sunfish, if he's going to be out in the sun, he needed uh, some water so his little, so that he doesn't dry up. I, I guess we're going to have to put in another, why don't we do that? Plant another gyroid, see what new guy we get. Ringoid. <laughs> We're going to sell Ringoid. We plant a new one. Vanessa's collecting Bubbleoid. And here's little Molly. She is so cute. And ketchup's in the plaza. She's sitting on the bench. Yep, we like ketchup. We like all of our animals quite truthfully. <laughs> and there's Tucker's out. We need three more tree branches. And Blair's busy fishing. Candy, my interior decorating tastes are kind of all over the place. It makes it hard to um, decorate my interior. So, like, can I come over to your house, Glitter? I want to look at your stuff, sweetie. Uh, some other time. Okay, maybe some other time. Later. Uh, the girls, because we're doing every, all five of the girls run the same chores each day. Or they do their island cleanup each day. I usually, it really depends whether we'll in interrupt the game and do a home visit. Okay, so we've collected everything we need. over to the museum because we want to have uh, blathers assess our fossils that we picked up. my fossils, please. Blathers' well, conversation, I'm sure everyone viewing this video knows it. So that's why I'm not reading through it. But basically, our museum has all the fossil collection, so... Vanessa just does the assessment because, well, she gets a chore done. She got her nook miles. And she wants to go in and get a cup of coffee with Brewster. That's kind of the high point to everybody's day. I was hoping I'd see you today. Care for some coffee? It's 200 bills a cup. Absolutely. Cool, you want pigeon milk in that? Uh, no. <laughs> sure. He always, well, every now and then he'll ask about the pigeon milk and the girls pretty much reject it unless I have a, my hands tremor and I miss the right answer. But they primarily all like their coffee black. Wow. 
It's got depth and perfectly balanced acidity. I love it. Thank you very much. And let's see, Vanessa is missing the bell tree and I have a feeling it's over in the sandy beach area. Sometimes if it's hard to find the bell glowing, Whole, the girls will wait till nighttime because it's easier to see it. But we'll go over and see if Vanessa missed it over in this area. Oh, she did. So we need 10,000 bells. We're going to dig up the <laughs> bell hole. Plant 10,000. Grab our new tree and go and chop down the old tree. And Vanessa has the chore of chopping some wood, so we're going to go ahead and chop wood because that's an easy one. And the girls are kind of running low on some of the wood stuff and their rock items. Originally, in the old days, they used to hit all six rocks every day. And We stop doing that unless someone needs what you get from the rocks. Or if the rocks turn out to be a chore. So we got the wood miles. She doesn't feel like fishing today and she needs to buy 5,000 bills worth of items. It's debatable as to whether we'll do that. So she's going to run into the store. Oh, what are the things you can build today? Glowing moss jar and peach jam. She's gonna pass on that. Vanessa has over a hundred million bells, so it's not like she needs money. Hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Vanessa, welcome, welcome. What do you need today? I wanna sell. Now, we have a policy in place of not buying turnips on Sundays, I'm sure you understand. So what would you like to sell? We're going to sell that recipe, all of my fossils, the fruit, the orange wall, and the gyroid. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. I'm done. I can buy these from you for a total of 19,593 bells. Sold. Thank you for putting excess bells into my pockets.
The other thing that girls do every day is stop in at the ATM. Take that. Welcome to Nook Stop. She's getting her 300 bonus miles. And Vanessa's checking to see if there's a new seasonal item. And she doesn't want to make a deposit. As you can see, she has over a hundred million bells because tomorrow she's going to need 10,000 for the money tree. And so she's going to hang on to what cash she has. Usually if they have like a 140, 150,000, then they deposit the 100,000 into their bank account. But that Vanessa's going to hang on to her now. We're also going to see who's at the campsite. I'm not interrupting you or nothing. I'm just out here camping. So you live here, right? It's really nice. I'm kind of jealous. Oh, you. Okay, we are not going to try to convince her to stay on the island. I haven't just Vanessa hasn't decided if she's going to let someone off her island. Um... She really loves her animals. This is Tucker. Aren't mornings neat? Let's chat. The weather is great today. I'm going to lay down in the grass and talk to some bugs. Oh, good for you, Tucker. Hey, Molly. Love, long time no see. You must have been... Really busy lately. Feels like ages since we've talked. She is so cute. <laughs> the girls also check in with Sable and Mabel to see what they're selling. We are kind of looking for wintry clothes. The girls have their favorite outfits for winter, and they're usually bundled up really warm. I think a couple of them really need the down pants so that they aren't freezing when they're out running around trying to make snow boys. And... Here's Sable. I, here we're expecting an especially chilly winter. I've made a lot of good warm stuff to choose from. I hope you find something you like. Okay, bye girls. Okay, so the last thing Vanessa's going to do is put all of the items she's collected into hay ketchup. Superstar, thanks for chatting with me. Let's talk. Don't you love being outside when the weather's like this? We need to have a picnic sometime. I really like the little characters. They are so adorable. We're gonna clean up our pockets.
Oh, as far as how the girls set up their pockets, we pretty much keep all this, the tools and stuff, plus their swimming gear. And I always keep, uh, they both, or all of the girls keep the flimsy axe because that's what they use to chop things. And they usually buy a flimsy axe from the cranny guys. So if one breaks, they have one on hand because they're constantly breaking them. Oh, and when Vanessa was over at her resort island, they gave her that cool plumeria bush, which I've never seen that sold. So she decided to plant it right here in her home garden area. So we've done our chores for today. Vanessa was going to go down and work on her novel today. She's getting pretty close to finishing it. She's the author. She just has to work through one more problem with her characters. And so that's a day in Vanessa's life on Shangri-La. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you again.